and welcome here to Talk FCB and welcome back here to the channel guys for another video and once again today we are going to be discussing obviously Barcelona but we're going to be looking ahead at that Celta Vigo game which is coming up this Saturday and it's going to be a really interesting I'm not going to go too much into it because obviously I've got to do a preview video tomorrow so I can't ruin it all in this video but in this video we are going to be discussing mainly Sergio Roberto and Denny Suarez two players that I think and we have been banging on about it now for quite a few weeks I think they need to be in the team on Saturday and I just think definitely at least one of them have to be have to be in the starting lineup and if it's Sergio Roberto he needs to be in a midfield role if it's Denny Suarez we know that he can play in midfield or he can play in the front three but I think both of them have got enormous potential and they need to be in these teams that we need to be taking them forward and putting our trust firmly in these guys now this isn't a reaction to yesterday's game against Mercia I think both of them played they played well they had a good game they, they showed a lot of encouraging signs but it's absolutely nothing to do with that again to yesterday it was lower league opposition you can't really take an awful lot from that game but this is just something that has been coming for a number of weeks and I said it as soon as Sergio Roberto got back to fitness of course he got injured against Olympiagas he was ruled out now for a number of weeks he's back now he's fully fit with the midfield that we have and you've seen it the last few weeks we've had a number of draws in our last few games we need to have something new in that midfield era we need to have something fresh and I firmly firmly believe and I have done now for a long time that Sergio Roberto really does deserve a chance there in midfield and I'm not just talking about you put him there in the Celta Vigo game and if he isn't great he's back out he deserves a few games to establish himself he deserves to feel that confidence and he deserves a sustained period in the team to stamp his authority down on that midfield because I think you've got Iniesta and you've got Busquets two players who are unbelievable in terms of their quality Iniesta though he's not getting any younger he cannot play every single game and you've got Sergio Busquets in defensive midfield if he gets injured if he gets suspended there's basically nobody that can replace him in that role you've got those two and then there's a third spot and that's if we play with a three in midfield and I think that third spot is firmly firmly up for grabs and I just think right now in the situation that our team is in we didn't do anything in the summer we didn't bring in the right profile of player Paulinho came in of course but we didn't really go after that star midfield name somebody like a Thiago maybe or a Pjanic or Verratti we tried to go after him We've been trying to pursue this extra midfielder to really complete that midfield. And I just think the way the midfield is right now, why not give it to Sergio Roberto? Why not say, here you go, one of our own, somebody who has worked incredibly hard over his Barcelona career, somebody who's stuck around year upon year upon year because he has a dream of succeeding in his team. And that is why, by the way, that he will probably renew his contract at Barcelona knowing that he's still going to be played out of position. He is still being played as a right back when he is frankly not a defender. He is not. But he simply playing that role because he loves and cherishes every single second in that Barcelona shirt and he will give everything for the team no matter where he plays and for that reason give him a try in midfield he's given us incredible service he's given us some fantastic memories already he deserves with the characteristics that he has to stamp his authority now on that midfield role and you look at the team and you're thinking you know where can he slot in you look at Rakitic who by all means is a phenomenal player on his day but this season he has not been anywhere near it his performances in the league in the Champions League he's played a lot of football but he hasn't done an awful lot with his minutes there's been a few times a few games where he's been good but ultimately he hasn't been good enough and I don't think he's done well enough to keep being played week upon week upon week likewise with Paulinho who by the way has had some brilliant moments Hitafe won us the game he's popped up as well with some big goals but I think right now in the profile that we need in that midfield week upon week upon week I wouldn't personally put all my faith in him to complete that midfield on a long term basis Sergio Roberto out of the three is my man he's got the characteristics coming out of the youth academy making his name having patience in working his way into the first team and I just think right now he's good on the ball we've seen that in his right back role he's a lot quicker than people give him credit for moving on the ball he can go forward his quick bursts of acceleration are very very good and I just think back to that game at the Bernabeu against Rafa Benitez of Real Madrid when we absolutely obliterated them without Lionel Messi by the way injured on the day he was on the bench Roberto started in midfield under Luis Enrique back in 2015 and he dominated Real Madrid and that's a midfield with Luka Modric in it he dominated them it was a brilliant assist for the first goal with Suarez and just thinking about that performance we need to give him more time in centre midfield he played it right back under Luis Enrique because we had nobody else right now we've got Semedo there's no excuse to keep using Sergio Roberto in that role when we're crying out for somebody to come in that midfield and give us some life and like I say he's not 
not just a one game thing. You need to give him time to establish himself and that's what I really don't understand right now about Valverde's judgement because in the first game of the season at home to Real Betis we performed very very well. Betis this season by the way a very good team. Beaten Real Madrid. Sergio Roberto starts in midfield and he's unbelievable. He's box to box. He's getting in all the right positions. He's got a lot of energy. He gets in the box of the second goal. Scores and I just don't understand what he did wrong to not warrant more chances. Valverde seemed to start the season with the idea that Roberto would be playing his football in midfield and then he seemed to go from that to just putting him at right back every single time and I just don't understand it especially now we've got Vidal fit as well if needs be if Semedo cannot play every game if it's not a high profile game you can put Vidal in that position and with the midfield that it currently is I just don't understand not playing him more often he deserves it he deserves an opportunity he's 25 right now he's entering what you would say is the prime of his career we're about to renew his contract until 2022 I think his time is now you've got to start putting some faith in him you've got to start giving him some chances and you've got to think as well the likes of Xavi Iniesta I'm not saying Roberto is going to turn into the next Xavi or Iniesta but the, even those guys when they were coming out of Barcelona youth teams when they were coming into the first team for the first time you needed to give them time they didn't automatically become world-class players overnight you need time to build yourself up to ease your way in and I just think now is the time to start putting our trust in Sergio Roberto in his rightful position which is midfield and likewise with Denis Suarez I just don't really understand why he hasn't been given more opportunities given the squad that we have and given the performances that we've seen so far from certain players in positions that he would be going for and especially with Denis Suarez seeing as the fact that he's so so versatile you know he's somebody who can play in midfield he can play as a creative player he's somebody who can you know carry the ball and go forward and obviously take people on and, and even score an assist as well like we've seen in the league so far this season and he's also somebody that could play in a three in midfield if you're playing with a four he's very very happy to be the wide man he can play further wide that enables him to play as well in the front three so I would see him playing in all those positions surely he would get more game time but this season Valverde has sort of not played him for whatever reason it has been I just don't understand why Denis Suarez has not received more minutes so far and the facts speak for themselves so far this season Denis Suarez in the league 287 minutes so far out of a possible 1170 minutes in La Liga he has played a tiny tiny percentage of our game so far in the league but when he has played two goals two assists so far he put in a fantastic display in front of an empty stadium at the Camp Nou against Las Palmas along with Lilo Messi that day he was by far the outstanding player and following that game hardly seen again and I just don't understand the logic behind it from Ernesto Valverde likewise in Champions League 75 minutes out of a total of 450 minutes and when you look so far this season somebody like Rakitic who's played in every single league game at some point and he's also played in every Champions League game so far this season as well and Denis Suarez is over here performing when he gets the chance he is not being put in the team often enough he's not being given a chance and I honestly believe he's spoken about it extensively in certain interviews this season if he does not get more game time by January we could well be saying goodbye to Denis Suarez because a player of this quality he knows he's got potential he will not accept that role he will not accept being shut out and that's what's been happening to him so far and it's not only us and it's not only him that's recognising this quality Messi, Iniesta, Busquets all of them have spoken very very highly about Denis Suarez in the past Busquets very very recently came out in an interview and he said in terms of the style and the way they play with the ball Denis Suarez is very very similar to Andres Iniesta in the way that he plays so it's not only us his teammates as well recognise that quality that potential the fact that he does seem to fit into the team that we like to see somebody who's very very good on the ball very very comfortable and somebody who very much seems to fit the Barcelona philosophy and that's why I don't understand the reluctance from Valverde not to play him. You look at Delafeu, what has he done so far with his minutes? What has he done to justify being started a lot of games compared to Denis Suarez? Nothing. To be honest, absolutely nothing. He has not done anything to put himself beyond Denis Suarez in the packing order. And other people as well. You know, Vidal has played a lot of games in the advanced to wider areas. He's not done enough with his chances. Other people in midfield that I mentioned like Roberto, you know, Rakitic, Paulinho, players that are getting in front of Roberto, getting in front of Denis Suarez have they done enough to be able to do that I don't think so I don't think they've contributed enough and I think these guys Roberto's 25 Denny Suarez is 23 these could be the future of our club why are we not putting more faith in them and that is the problem that I have right now are we thinking too short term are we being too short sighted I understand the demands on Valverde I understand the demands on the club for short term success but it can't be about that all the time you've got to think long term you've got to look at what you've got before they go because we've seen it in the past with the likes of 
Thiago when players can have that potential coming through, but if they're not given a chance, they can leave and we can regret it for a long, long time. We've got to be careful. These players will know what they deserve, and if we don't give it to them, we are really treading a tightrope. It's going to be a slippery, slippery slope if Denis Suarez doesn't get more minutes. Likewise with Roberto, and I just want to know your guys' thoughts on Sergio Roberto, on Denis Suarez. What do you think about these two players? Should Roberto have a future in that midfield? Do you see the potential that I do, that others have said about it as well? Do you think that he deserves a role in midfield for a few games to really prove himself and stamp down his authority on this team? And likewise with Denis Suarez, do you think that he deserves more minutes, whether it be in midfield, whether it be in the front three, whether it be in wider areas? Let me know your thoughts down below, guys, and what you think about these two players with regard to our upcoming games. Should these guys be playing more? I think so. But what do you think? I've also just discovered something really cool on my channel. It's a sort of community tab. YouTube have literally just informed me about it. I had no idea that it existed. I put a few comments there earlier, guys. Basically, it gives me a chance to interact further with you. There's going to be polls and stuff on there as well. I'm not really sure how you guys get to it, but a lot of you did find it earlier. So thank you to all the guys that I did speak with. I also informed you this video will be coming today so I can inform you about videos and you can give me ideas, things like that. So hopefully the channel is going to get a lot better. Hopefully Hopefully I can speak to you guys in a lot more detail. There will be a poll on there after this video to see your thoughts on Roberto and Denis Suarez with regards to other players in our team and who deserves to start against Celta Vigo ahead of the preview video which will be coming to you guys tomorrow. Barca versus Celta, the early kickoff on Saturday. It'll be the first time we kick off at that time this season so far. I'll have that for you tomorrow ahead of the game. I'll see you very, very shortly. But until then, as always, Vesca El Barca. Watch it! Watch it! Watch it!